What's up, guys? I'm gonna put my shoe back on. This is my review on the Reebok CrossFit Nano 2.0. Um, as you can see, uh, these ones look pretty cool. There's like a billion colors you can get. Uh, you can actually get them ID'd, so like the Reebok version of Nike ID. Um, and you can design the shoe however you want it to look within their color scheme. Um, which is cool because you can make some purple and black shoes, which is what I love. Um, they ended up costing they end up costing about 150 bucks or something like that. So, um, but the regular version, these they still have I don't know 15 or 16 different colors, um, and the regular version looks wise look they look pretty good. Um, they're a, a lot bulkier shoe than I'm used to, uh, but. Feel wise, it, it doesn't equate that way. Um, they actually feel pretty good and they feel pretty solid. I, I like my New Balance Minimus, but uh, these feel pretty solid on the foot and that heel to toe drop is minimal. There, there's like almost nothing there. I don't know what the, the range is, if there is one at all or if there isn't, but I'm guessing it might be like a millimeter, uh, maybe like four millimeters or something, something like that. Um, but the shoe as a whole, uh, I did a couple workouts in these shoes already, and the shoe as a whole is actually pretty decent. Um, it has pretty good support, so it feels like you're wearing more of a shoe than like the Minimus or the Free. Um, but in the Nano, the one thing that is really weird, and I, I don't know if I'll ever get used to it, is the toe box is so wide in the Nano 2.0. The toe box is so wide. I've heard that the 3.0, they made it a little bit more narrow and people don't like that, but I don't know how I like the toe box wide like this. Um, I am very free to move my feet, the front of my feet around in the shoe. Um, and this is a half size smaller than I normally wear. So I got the 12, I got 12s and they were humongous. Um, so I got these 11 and a halfs and they actually feel a little bit, a little bit more where I need to be. Um, but running wise in the shoe, it's decent running in the shoe. It's not nearly as comfortable as like the Nike uh, Fly Free Knit or uh, even like some of my New Balance Minimus shoes. Um, but it's a dec decent shoe to run in. It's not gonna give you a ton of support, but it's, it's whatever. Um, actually lifting and working out in the shoe, great. Great shoe. Um, I feel like I can cut. I feel like I can change direction pretty well in these shoes. Uh, and I, th I think uh, like jumping and stuff like that, to me, this offers more of a cushion than what I'm used to because I usually use like my New Balance Minimus Trails and there's not very much cushioning in those. Uh, but cushioning wise, these are, these are gonna give you a lot more cushion than the New Balance is. Less cushion than the free, but again, you have more stability side to side than the free as well. So overall, I would give these shoes something like an eight, or nine out of 10, probably probably more about like an 8.5. Um, there's some things that I would address, like that toe box issue, I'm not totally sold on it. It's just too free for me. Um, and then looks wise, they just seem like a bulky shoe. Uh, they still look cool, but it's bulky for my taste. So that's, that's me, um, and that's my review of the Reebok CrossFit Nano 2.0. Uh, you can go snag yourself a pair. I think they're like a hundred bucks uh, online, but you get plenty of different color options, and uh, 